All right, we're back. Hopefully, I got everything sussed out here. I'm just waiting for the game to load. We'll get back in game here. Have some fun. All right. Hopefully soon here I can do more games. Uh, I would love to be able to do more uh, Star Citizen episodes. Um, I just unfortunately do not have uh, the time resource <laughs> mainly. But uh, I am able to actually do two shows on Sunday. Uh, morning show and a night show. Uh, sort of, uh, you know... Uh, Eastern Hemisphere, Western Hemisphere, uh, so that everybody uh, gets gets a chance to be able to uh, enjoy the show in the evening, as opposed to uh, one or two in the morning <laughs> and seven in in nice time in the evening. Um, hopefully, uh, someday soon, uh, I'll be able to, to afford to uh, do the same thing on every day of my show, and not just my Star Citizen show on Sunday. Uh, and hopefully, we'll be able to do Star Citizen at least once every day, as well as my. Uh, additional shows. I might alter my schedule quite a bit here in the near future. Uh, I haven't gotten much influence as far as the uh, the retro uh, and indie game uh, day. And then uh, um, I think I'm going to modify the FPS day to just uh, action game day, you know, so this is going to be a little bit more more vast. And then I'm also going to start doing um, uh, a playthrough of Witcher 1, 2, and 3, uh, starting with 1, of course, so that we can get the whole story and with commentary and participate and chat with uh, the whole thing. We, you know, it's, it'll be like a group reading uh, of a, a great book, but a video game, which is great. Um, and then also I want to play through uh, some Fallout games, too, because that's, that's some of the video games that actually brought me to PC was the Fallout games in the beginning, and uh, Fallout Tactics Brotherhood of Steel in, in particular. Um, so I want to do a playthrough of Fallout New Vegas. I have had it for a long time, but I haven't had the time to sit down and actually do it. So in order to motivate myself to play the game, I'm going to do it as a playthrough and where we play all the, con all, the t all the content that I play in the game will be streamed, which will be great. Um, also, if you haven't noticed before, uh, we are trying to get to 100 viewers today. We got to 67 followers. 100 followers, and I will start working on a... Uh, a three-part mini-series, uh, two hours each segment, where we will actually use uh, electrophotonics, uh, gas discharge visualization technique using a camera that actually uh, takes readings of the energy field, the EM emissions uh, from the body, and then it inter can, has uh, software that interprets those. You're also using the uh, uh, technician, uh, certified technician as well, will interpret these, and and uh, we'll also be able to see. Um, uh, treatment methods for uh, energy loss and uh, energy systems in the body as well, um, as well as uh, be experimenting. Once we hit the 100 follower mark, we'll be progressing deeply into uh, the scientific aspect of gas discharge visualization and the integration with that with uh, uh, video game media. Um, so we're going to have a lot of interesting scientific data. We're not going to try to dog on video games because there's nothing that's going to stop me from playing video games at this point, I don't think. Uh, aside from, you know, total apocalypse and no electronics anymore. Uh, but we're going to essentially try to uh, create uh, better methods and uh, means of, of prolonged gameplay. Uh, treatment for prolonged gameplay and the uh, side effects that come with the, with that, you know, uh, through treatment of energy systems and possibly pursue a new science, which will be really exciting and fun to participate in, I think. And I think science should really be brought out to the world this way as opposed to a secret laboratory in some military base somewhere where the, the, the new technology... Uh, that we get is actually old technology that the military is passing on so that it can sell, so it can make money to have newer technology. Um, so I think it's a really great thing, way to where we actually have uh, technology available directly to civilians and the research directly available to the civilians, like how um, for Star Citizen, uh, Roberts, Space and, uh, Roberts is doing 
the development media. Throughout all of development, there's all this media that we can share and, and participate in to help develop this game. So in order to develop in, in the same mode with science, uh, with the G gas discharge visualization electrophotonics, um, definitely please click the link, click the link below on my uh, on my panels below, on my Twitch page, please, and uh, you can get linked to uh, it's it's the the picture of the, uh, the energy rings around a silhouette of a person. Um, it's it should say uh, what um, would you like to be a uh, participate in a scientific experiment? If you click that, it'll go to the bio well, and you can actually learn a lot about about the uh, the bio well there. And then also on my forum post in uh, Star Citizen. Um, I've also got a, a video linked where they actually interview the creator and developer of the GDB camera, the electrophotonics uh, technique uh, that's been developed from actually Curlian photography, which some people might be more familiar with. Um, this is the advancement of the Curlian uh, studies and photography that's been going on since as early as uh, 1777, actually. Um, but uh, uh, we're hoping to be in uh, now modern days, actually. Uh, our, uh, the clinic in my town just recently just uh, uh, just uh, made it so that they actually have to have they actually have to have someone on hand uh, that they can actually call or bring in as a resource that actually knows the treatment methods the energy treatment methods that were developed from this uh, technology and the science to actually treat energy systems in the body for people on post-op and pre-operations as well as recovery uh, uh, you know, the, it's it's not hypnotism. It's not hypnotism. People mistake it with hypnotism, and it's not. It's it's totally different. Uh, hypnotism is sort of a subliminal messaging and uh, a placebo effect. This is actual energy science, actual biological energy science. So, uh, you know, if you've ever heard of a uh, a heart sensor on a on a rifle. This <laughs> this photography actually uh, is, is that's the military development of this this type of photography actually is is the uh, the the readings of energy of strong energy fields and and light energy fields. Uh, right now we currently only have the ability to take readings of the uh, the body and actually we can actually uh, emit alpha waves directly into the frontal lobe. Uh, and play tones and music that actually help balance the energy flow in your in your systems uh, to the proper proper uh, alignment and spiral that it's actually supposed to be moving at and and aligned with. Um, uh, and that's pretty interesting too because it, it I don't know uh, <laughs> if anybody's taking any uh, legal hallucinogens. Uh, anybody in Amsterdam would be able to. Uh, would understand the experience uh, of, of psilocybin, um, or at least be knowledgeable because it is legal there. Um, where actually you you witness these sensations and 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 feelings at a heightened awareness, and it'll actually actually be able to show and teach us how we can reach this heightened awareness as well as. Uh, treat our own energy systems using very simple techniques and also train our intuition too we're gonna hopefully do that as well but uh, for now I want to see if uh, my little fix is actually helped with gameplay by having a race for Star Citizen here so I'm really excited about the science the science fiction aspect of Star Citizen and integrating that with some some actual science so in the future here we're actually going to be doing Star Citizen episodes about this too but the first game we're going to be doing once we hit a hundred followers is actually Alien Isolation so we're going to be seeing <laughs> negative effects of energy systems and also you're always going to have you know six hours of gameplay of blackmail material of me screaming like a little girl and whimpering and I think it'll be hilarious I think it'll be hilarious at least in retrospect. Me going through... Oh, God. You can look on my Steam profile. I've only got a couple hours on Alien Isolation. I've had it for a while. I've had it since last Christmas, I think. Or well, No, I've had it since around Thanksgiving, actually, which is November. Um, but, uh... Yeah, let's... Where's my gamma? Where's my gamma? There she you are. There you are. Yes. <laughs> You're so sweet. Love my gamma. Those fucking maneuvering thrusters are bees, man. Bees knees. Right, hang on, I'm gonna switch over to the chat here so I can see if anybody said hello. But yeah, if you're viewing, don't be afraid to say hi. If you haven't already given a follow, please do. It'll help us get closer to our goal and uh, towards science. <laughs> uh, 
I was all getting psyched about it yesterday. I was watching Bill Nye, the science guy. Boo, boo, boo. And then I went on YouTube and watched some of the commentary he has on the uh, GOP, and it's just, it's hilarious. It's hilarious. I loved his show as a, as a kid, and I, I still like his show, and I actually try to get my kid to watch his show as much as I can, because it actually got me interested in science. And actually, he is very interested in science, and he's we're going, we've got him signed up for a charter school that we're waiting to see about uh, scholarship opportunities from, to see if we can be actually be able to send him to this school. It's going to be pretty expensive, but uh, I have several friends that, that graduated from this school, and also know of other youth that have, and the opportunities offered to them afterwards were immense, and just... They were very well-rounded individuals because the school actually brought them to the experience of of going to international places, interacting with the culture, and actually helping make you know helping build like aquifers and wells and uh, solar systems for for communities that needed these things. Water filtration devices taught people how to how to search and to say uh, how to make these uh, chemical packs that actually burnt out mines. Instead of people trying to remove a mine from a minefield, they can actually use these uh, chemical components, really really cheap chemical components, to actually create a flame that burns out the the, the igniting uh, uh, aspect of the mine. Um, I wasn't participating in this because I, I actually didn't participate in any of the. Oh, this is so much smoother. Oh yes, oh yes, here we go. It's gonna be a good race. Oh, unless I totally fuck up. There we go. There we go. Yeah, that's where the Mustang stands out is these maneuvering thrusters. If you lose, if I mean, if you lose control, it's pretty easy to get back in control as long as you keep calm and just, you know, just rely on ease. You don't want to be too twitchy in this. I've noticed, especially with the mouse and keyboard. It's, it's pretty sensitive. I have it set pretty sensitively. And then it, I don't know. The, I've understood the uh, the gravity pull on the Mustang is pretty simplified compared to the 350R, and it's really easy to compensate for it. Yeah, the one guy I was racing against, I think, was. Yeah, see, see, if you were watching earlier and you saw how terrible I was doing because of the lag, which I think was actually on my end. Well, that's, that's not my best, but it's it's about two seconds, less than just two seconds, a little less, 1.8 seconds away from, from my best. Right, thank you very much. <laughs> so, way better compliments than you were giving me last time. <laughs> I fucking rage quit last time. I was just like, I can't do this. This is just way too laggy. Oh god, I almost hit the camera again. He's doubling talk. Doubling up his talk. Saying two things at once. It's impossible. Unless he's just a computer. Recorded voice. I would really be able to love to be able to uh, produce some music for this game. It would be interesting to do gaming material because I've noticed that music in games always seems to be coming from behind. You know, I have these nice headsets on, this headset on right now, and it's, it's coming from behind, whereas everything else is coming from a different sort of quadrant. how the levels of the music change too. Now it's kind of coming from more of the sides and the back, I've noticed, as the you know, sort of the uh, the main chorus picked up here. But, uh, you know, it'd be interesting to learn uh, some actual sound engineering aspects from uh, from gamers, actually. From game developers, sound developers, because I've, I've only done uh, live sound development uh, live sound uh, ma uh, engineering as as well as just uh, EDM mastering and uh, recording mastering uh, myself is what I have experience in and, and I'm no master at any of those I'm just knowledgeable you could say <laughs> um, but it, it, it's always been kind of like an interest with me I've been a musician for over 15 years um, all right 
Alright, let's see. Best lap. None 977. That was pretty close to my best. I think 1958 is my best. That's definitely my best for this uh, patch right now, actually. But um, I, I haven't put too much time in this. I've only been, in, been able to put enough time in just to play a little bit yesterday, and I wasn't able to stream that yesterday. But uh, I was able to play a little bit today, this morning, earlier, uh, before my computer actually had some, some issues and I wasn't able to get any good gameplay, but uh, we have that now. Dun, 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 dun. I want to try again, see if I can get a little better. Actually, no. Let's see if we can uh, hit up... I'm gonna hit up the uh, the next course and see if I can get on the leaderboards on the next one, on the next two races actually. So we're gonna see if we can get on the leaderboards, and then we'll take a look at the leaderboards uh, later on tonight. Uh, on my next show, we'll start out by looking at the leaderboards from what I did earlier today, uh, and uh, hopefully, uh, yeah, we get more viewers, more followers, get closer to our goal. I would love to be able to fill my follower goal for this session. That would be awesome. Hang on, hang on. Here we go. Let's get my, uh, forgot to run my alert program. There we go. That's running. And, uh, yeah, Joker R13, welcome. Yes, sir. Here, let me adjust this so it's not so short. Why is that so small? It shouldn't be that short. Okay. This is what we need to do. Okay. <laughs> it's so short. I think it'll get longer as we get more people there. Because, uh... Yeah, thanks for the follow, man. Thank you. Gets us closer to our goal and closer to science. All right, let's do this old Vanderball. Rickard Memorial Raceway, lap count three. Let's see here. Yeah, we'll see if we can race against anybody on this one. It's really hard to find people outside of just the, the one race, really. But I'm not usually playing in the morning with uh, the European crowd, so we'll see. European and African crowd. Found a match. Let's see if there's anybody in it. If not, we may just have to do solo. Solo. I don't know if you guys have had the opportunity to go and check out any of uh, Citizen Dare or uh, Trip Rodriguez. They do great shows. They're good racers. They're damn good racers, man. I got a lot of ships, a lot of racing ships. I think uh, both of them do regular giveaways. Not as regular as me, but they've also been doing this a bit longer than me. Uh, and they probably also have a little bit more funding than I do. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. I've enjoyed their shows. I've hosted both of them. Um, I think they're great contributors to the community. So yeah, give those guys a check out. Citizen Dare and Trip Rodriguez, if you haven't already. They're, they're definitely on the forum, on the Star Citizen forums, as well as here on Twitch. They do some great shows. They have a lot more time to do to be able to, uh, to stream Star Citizen, and they do it more regularly than I do. So definitely give them a give them a check out, man. They've got some good stuff. They won't be doing any of the scientific experiments that I'm going to be doing, though. I'm not sure what their organizations are uh, really based around, but I think Trips is racing, and, and uh, I think Citizen Dare is a member of one that's uh, kind of like going to be like a super organization. But I'm not sure. Let's see if there's anyone behind us. Yep. Okay, so we're going to go back to Hangar, and we're going to load into a single player so we can actually see if I can get on the leaderboard on that. And then we're also going to try on the third race, uh, the longer race, uh, see what kind of uh, ranking I can get on the leaderboard just after my 
first try on each one. Uh, and I'm going to try to do a couple laps on each. And then we're going to take a look at the leaderboards uh, later on tonight. And yeah, so, so, so it has enough time to update. I don't think it does it right away. But uh, uh, we're going to do some racing. And then we're going to call it until the show later on today. But yeah. You'll be seeing a lot, if you don't know already, you'll be seeing a lot of that loading screen there. <laughs> uh, they haven't fully optimized alpha yet. They're still just working out the kinks of uh, the FPS module, the first person shooter module that will be added in uh, to be able to be tested and played here hopefully soon. It was supposed to come out last month, but they're dealing with a lot of infrastructure and they're trying to get their infrastructure set up for the size that it actually needs to be because there's, I mean, there's like 800,000 people that want to connect to this game at this point, you know, and it's, it's, <laughs> it, they need to be able to to hold that up there. Oh, Citizen Dare is online. He is online playing right now. Right now, Citizen Dare is playing on. Maybe not check him out right now. Come and, you know, <laughs> if you're already here. But uh, we're going to do the Rickard Memorial Raceway. And we're actually... Wait, no. No, 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 going to do a private match. Uh... Oh, wrong way. Not enough. Wait, wait. Okay, i got to go back twice to this section. I go to the drone sim. Race. Let's start with the Rickord Memorial, and we're definitely going to be taking a racing ship. Mustang Gamma, three laps, and launch. And we'll see what the, later on tonight, what we get on the leaderboards. But uh, I can't wait for long endurance races. Not only just these these quick little, little sh fast ships are fucking sweet, but I can't wait for long endurance races for the big ships, you know, like... Being able to fit out my whole sea with some racing stuff and to be able to see if I can't, you know, haul, you know, cargo races. That'd be fucking awesome. You know, long, you know, endurance cargo racing where you have like maximum load on your cargo ship and everybody in this, this, you know, size ship has to go and make it to the other side of the freaking universe by the end of the week first or something like that. That would be fucking awesome. That would be fucking awesome. I would stream that all the time. I would stream that whole fucking endeavor. Practice simulation. Uh, I don't remember this one so well, so we'll see. Uh, kind of a shitty start. Alright, so, okay, got a curve left up here, I believe. Watch out for those fucking things. Okay, go to the right here. That's right. Oh! Kind of a shortcut there. <laughs> if you hit it right, which I did not. Ooh, mama. Yeah, once this thing's running smooth, man, when my computer's not giving me problems, which isn't often, uh, I, I fucking fly pretty damn well, but not, not the best. Not the best. I'm getting a little hungry for lunch now. So we'll see, we'll see, we'll see if the hunger helps me fly better. The hunger. Oh, right, oh. I'm gonna cut that. Good night. God, that was so close. Hitting that fucking antenna. Oh, hitting some G's. <laughs> I 
I like to use Trip Rodriguez's videos uh, and uh, Citizen Dare to actually show me like the fastest course in a, in a race. But I haven't had uh, the time to actually study before this, so we're just gonna see, you know, dry bone. Fucking what comes off of this dry without any proper lubrication. Oh god, I hate those fucking antennas. Why the fuck are those things sticking out on those goddamn ah oh, platforms? Shit! <laughs> no, no. Where am I? Where am I? Ah! Uh, oh, this lap is not gonna. This lap is just gonna blow. Where the hell am I pointed at? Turn! Goddamn ship! I fucking hit that turn so late. It's not good. Chick point. Watch out for those antennas that appear at the last second. <laughs> oh, yeah. Do 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 and maneuvering thrusters, oh yeah. That's where it's at. And that's running into a fucking building. <laughs> now where am I? Ah, oh, fuck it. <laughs> Reintegration. <laughs> I love how the fucking waypoint goes away while your fucking the computer's already loaded. Fucking love that. Sarcasm. <laughs> if you don't know the tones of my voice yet, the tones of my voice. Oh man, that one throws you out wide. Yeah, we'll figure out how to hit that one a little better. But yeah, we know what's what's happening here. We're hitting this dry, hitting it dry, trying not to black out. Oh, this lap is gonna blow. I don't even wanna look, but I'm gonna. But I'm gonna! Checkpoint. That didn't even. <laughs> okay. <coughs> didn't even pop up. I guess. Uh, I guess that's okay. There we go. There we go. Hit this way better. Way better that time. Let's see if we can beat. 159, I think, is my best so far. Whew. I think that was really fucking close, hitting that tree. <laughs> Sign. Oh, don't hit the thinness. Oh, don't hit that sign. Or that fucking camera. Those little floating cameras there, man. They should rent those out for actual cash. I think that would be a great, a great way to, to monetize uh, and also to promote racing. Just to get you know different people, different uh, amount of you know photos on different uh, locations. You know, so that we could actually have you know where journalism inside of the universe is actually going to be a big thing, I think, because there's going to be so much going on in a single universe. Journalism, I think, is going to be a fucking big career, sort of like non, uh, non-typical career path inside of, it already is, it already is a very, very big non-typical career path inside of the Star Citizen universe. Look at me, I'm, I'm doing a fucking Star Citizen show, woo, you know? <laughs> And then uh, linked up with the uh, the base radio. Those guys are great. Those guys do a great radio show. Um, I think they're going to do one pretty soon here today on Sunday. Um, uh, the uh, guard frequency is awesome. Those guys are fucking legit. Those guys are awesome. I can't wait to what they when they were able to uh, discuss what they all the things they receive from their golden tickets. Um, and uh, I, I really like their their viewpoints as far as like legally and whatnot. 
Uh, I really like their viewpoint on uh, sort of uh, corporate governance, you know, where it was like, is there anybody there telling Roberts that we would rather have Persistent Universe as opposed to the third segment of Squadron 42? You know, I mean, if Squadron, you know, first two segments of Squadron 42 are great and are as big as you say they are, do we really need a third one before we get to Persistent Universe, man? I mean, you know, trying to carry on the Wing Commander and tie them into this universe, into the Star Citizen thing is great, but, I mean, we're sold, man. <laughs> I've spent over $400 on ships, you know, technically. And... <laughs> I really would just like to be able to fly them in the Persistent Universe, man. Even if it's just a test, it's going to be wiped, you know? And based on what I know and kind of have intuited myself and interpreted, is that Squadron 42 is going to introduce us to what, they're, what they have in concept for interactions in the Persistent Universe. So we're still very early on in development here. And, you know, if we're lucky, end of 2016, we'll be able to get a test universe, I think. Oh god, getting a little, getting a little, getting a little cray cray. I didn't even see, I don't think it's popping up anymore, but I didn't see what it was on the last lap. But, uh, we'll see what this one is. This one's probably going to be my best, actually. It's looking like it. If I can beat 158, it'll be my best for sure. My best. 155, 29, probably, I think. But, uh,. Do one more lap, and we'll check the other race. I know a couple little uh, tricks on the next one. I'm not sure if I'll be able to remember them all, but uh, I know some. I know some Takanikaru. Takanikaru. I'm a big fan of anime, by the way. If anybody in chat wants to sell their favorite anime. Well, currently my favorite is has to be Gurren Lagann. I fucking thought that was awesome. I'm still watching it. I'm on episode 16, and that's currently my favorite. But I've also really liked Psycho Pass. Psycho Pass, uh, I wasn't a really big fan of the artist at first, but then, I don't know, I, I started to really enjoy Psycho Pass. After about the first episode, I was hooked. Really, I had to watch through the whole episode, and I was like, eh, you know. And then it gets to about the third or fourth episode, and then you're really hooked. Then you're really fucking hooked. But Gurren Lagann, I thought that was hilarious and awesome. I don't know. I like that whole <laughs> giant robot, silly bravado, boobs flopping around all over the place. Shit, I'm sold. <laughs> simple, simple pleasures for a simple man. But I like the uh, the depth of stories in most anime. They take it a lot deeper and and to really taboo places sometimes. Because uh, the Japanese really aren't afraid of addressing the taboo in their media. It seems you know. I have to give props to that. Oh, best yet! All right, I think I'm gonna be okay with that one. And we're gonna go back to the hangar and see if we can't get some grace times on the other one. And then, after that, I will sign off, and I will see you guys this evening. Oh, excuse me. Breakfast. I think I need a second breakfast, really. First breakfast was pretty light. Second breakfast might be considered lunch, but we'll see how hungry I get later. Oh, I love food. That's why my name is named after food. I love, you know, it's all about the sauce and something, really. You know, pasta casseroles, steaks, potatoes, anyways, anyway, anything. It's all about the sauce, you know, even if it's just ketchup, you know, sometimes it's, sometimes that's all it's all about, you know, that's all about, I mean, fry, french fries, the, the only thing that those things are really about is just holding the ketchup to get to your face, you know, it's about the flavor of the ketchup with the french fries. French fries really are bad for you, but it's all about the ketchup with those. I have yet to get any sh any fish yet. I think I should get some fish, maybe. But I I have a little credit left over in my my account. And I'm I don't know. I'm not sure what I want to get. I got got this. Maybe I should get a skin for it. I don't know. What I really want to get is a forklift for this, so I can load up my fucking cargo. 
you know, go and get whole things of cargo from, in, you know, different parts of the city or different bases and drive it to my ship on my, my nice little rover here. Little gray cat. All right, now we're going to hop back in to the sim pod. Because that's all we get just yet in alpha if you haven't seen it yet. But, uh, drone sim, and we're going to try to get some some leaderboard times here on this one now, Defford Link. We got a pretty good time on the last one, I thought, 154.73, I think it was. And that was my best yet oh, on there, I think, as far yeah. as I can remember. Oh, thank you for the follow. What's up, man? Yeah, it's all about the sauce. Oh, ass blood. You're all about the sauce, too, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, he's all about the sauce. That's a different kind of sauce. <laughs> but what's up, ass blood? <laughs> what's up, man? Thanks for the follow. That gets us closer to our goal. If uh, you're interested, the uh, oh, nice. We got two out of ten so far on our session. Uh, the the uh, event goal is uh, where I'm actually going to scare the shit out of myself playing Alien Isolation for six hours. Uh, se uh, three segments of two hours, and then we're actually going to be doing uh, readings using electro uh, photography, and we're actually going to be seeing how scared I am and how the fear affects my uh, organs and my energy field. So that's going to be pretty fucking cool. So yeah, get your friends in here, man. Get them to follow. If we can get to 100, you guys will have some pretty entertaining views of me scaring the shit out of myself, and then also have some pretty interesting science resulting from that, too. But yeah. Practice simulation, and this this race is quite hardcore. I have to say, this course, you know, the the, the tried and true racers, you know, will be like, oh, this is probably the best one, but this one's actually kind of hard. And I, it's been a couple weeks since I've played it, so I don't remember all of my. Oh, I remember this one. I remember this one. You just cut right here, <laughs> and you don't do this giant loop. Right there. Oh, 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 oh. Trying to get a little G's there. Trying to get a little G's. Oh, God. What's up here? This one's fucking sweet. It all winds through these, like... I imagine these are, like... <laughs> I don't know if you've ever been to Daytona. <laughs> or any NASCAR event. But I imagine these these hovering houses are, like, the, uh, the mobile homes, you know. <laughs> this is, like, the trailer park. <laughs> Of uh, Star Citizen here. Um, and here you see Dale and Earl over there. Dang old man, get on down that dang old ship now and hit that turbo. Now, now, now. Yeah. You know, <laughs> sitting over there drinking a space beer. <laughs> space beverages. At least we're not just making left turns the whole time, right? <laughs> I am also a big fan of rally racing, actually. Um, a good friend of mine uh, nearby actually is racing, I think he's racing a Skyline uh, that he has uh, set up with all-wheel drive, actually, for, um, uh, he's, he's actually, he actually spent some time in Mexico recently racing. And hopefully we'll be able to do some videos with him, see what his take on racing in Star Citizen is once the Persistent Universe hits, and maybe have some commentary from him as far as uh, on, you know, some actual races, perhaps. See what a take of uh, an actual rally racer uh, takes on the uh, Star Citizen racing, and we might be able to get some uh, GDV readings from him, too, if he's willing to uh, be a part of science. Uh, I don't know if this is the right way to do this, but I'm going to cut that there. We'll see. We'll see what the uh, the results of my leader times are. But uh, I think the fastest I've ever seen anybody go on this. I don't remember the time, but I think they were in a Mustang on this course, a Mustang Gamma or Omega in particular. I think it was actually Trip Rodriguez, but I'm not. I don't. I can't confirm that. It may not yet be Trip Rodriguez after this lap, motherfuckers. I've been flying pretty good pretty good but I mean that's 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 just me saying that <laughs> as far as I'm I'm concerned I'm flying good 
I haven't crashed yet, so and I've cut off a little bit of my my time too. I think. Let's see what we got here. Three minutes seventy six hundredths. Let's see if we can beat that. Because I think the actual time, best time on this is maybe two thirty nine, close to that. I think. So that might put me in the top couple hundred. Who knows? Depends on. Depends on who else is, how many people are racing these other courses, which I can hard, I haven't found anybody else to race against just, just starting a, you know, a random match, you know. I've joined Citizen Dare on one or two, but that's the most interaction I've had with uh, racing with other people on this. Oh, where is it? Oh, crap, I could have really cut those, couldn't I? For this section. Oof. This is section is tied in from that other one, it looks like. These are all like seem to be like extensions of each other, variations of each other. They they have certain segments that are the same between the two. And they you know, they all start at the same point. But the first one is definitely very different from the other ones. It's a very short course style. I used to race uh, short course RC. Uh, just a little bit. Just a little bit. I didn't get into it very much. Uh, I was just starting to get into it, mainly a friend of mine, a good friend of mine. Uh, he... Oh, no! <laughs> Crap. Wait, am I... Where the fuck am I flying? I'm not flying a Mustang. What the hell? <laughs> okay, well, we're, we're getting lap times in the, uh, the Gladius, it looks like. Yes. This is... <laughs> this is lap times in the Gladius, excuse me. I thought I was in a Gamma. This thing actually handles really fucking well as a racer, actually. Ooh, it's in the Persistent Universe having Gladius spec racing specs. Ah! Oh! Keep it together, Murder Sauce! So yeah, we'll get to the Mustang Gamma after this, actually. Because, uh, get a couple laps on this and see where we place. That would be kind of interesting to see, actually. I don't know how quickly the uh, leaderboards update, though. I do not know how quickly they update. But this Gladius is a pretty fucking fast ship, 240. Not as fast as my Mustang, of course. But once we finish this lap, we'll get back in the Mustang Gamma. Let's see what we can really do on this here. Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Go, go, go! Ah! <laughs> ah! Oh, don't hit those. Don't hit those. Ah! Or the things projecting those. I mean... <laughs> uh, I think it's this way. Yes, this way. Going under that bridge is probably the fastest. Yeah, this lap's gonna be way worse than another one. Crashed twice. Of course, it was because I jinxed myself, realizing I wasn't in my shit. <laughs> all right, all right, back to hanging. We're gonna do this again, but we're gonna do it with the Mustang Gamma. Then we're gonna call it a morning. But yeah, if you stop by and game a follow or whatnot, thank you very much. Thank you very much. It gets us closer to uh, doing our scientific goal. We only have 22 follows left to go before we hit that. We're almost there, guys. Almost there. Share this with your friends. Send us over here. We also do giveaways here in the future. Once I get more funding as well, the giveaways will probably be more regular. Um, but I hope to be able to get a bunch of people started out with a bunch of starter packs. Because I get a discount on the starter packs, so I'm actually going to use that as sort of my giveaways for getting people into Star Citizen. Uh, and if you're also interested in joining the organization, we don't have a Persistent Universe to actually do much with our organization with besides just play uh, other video games as well as our Arena Commander together with uh, to race and, and mess around with the, uh, the test modules with. But uh, please, join my organization if you're interested in uh, cargo racing, smuggling, uh, guarding that cargo uh, as either a pilot or a marine. I definitely need guards for my cargo ships to actually be actually a patrolling guard on the ship as well as um, manning a fighter of some type 
or a gun gun turret on a ship. So I will need many types for my cargo to be able to make it safely because I want to be a very reliable cargo service for whoever decides to ship cargo with us. Be that pirate or not pirate or other outlaw or citizen or not. Um, essentially it's going to be a very gray area and I hope to use it as well as sort of a resource for other organizations. I'm linked with other alliance organizations, the Greek Alliance, uh, the Aegis Alliance, and the uh, Defense Alliance, as well as the Interstellar Piracy Network, the Exchange, um, the Gray Network, as well as several other syndicate uh, groups. Um, but yeah, it's going to be really exciting once we hit Persistent Universe. Now I just need more of a crew to field for my ships. I've got uh, two cargo ships and a racing ship, so we're going to need a racing team uh, and uh, a cargo team. The cargo ships are probably worked in together because my hull sea will have to be loaded in space, whereas the other ship will be able to, say, tow, tow things from the surface of planets to the ship. So that'll be really interesting. So we're going to need teams, and we're going to start getting together and start doing sort of team building exercises once we actually get more more people together and I get more more time to actually devote towards towards actually developing that and we actually get more um, content to actually use to help develop our our uh, organizations because currently at the time going I mean the majority of the community is built by the community which is great which is great um, I think that's the way it should be I really think it's really great how they're integrating the community and making it a very important development factor for this game um, I'm really excited about it. I really, I really have great trust and faith in the team that they have already, and the future people that they potentially may may hire. Uh, I believe that this this project is probably the greatest video game project that has ever happened. Um, uh, uh, though I am a person from uh, since uh, what is it, uh, Daikatana era. Oh God, that was supposed to be the best game ever, and it was it was so so bad, so bad. God damn it, I'm not in the Mustang. <laughs> well, back to the hangar where we will get the Mustang, hopefully this time. We'll get some leaderboards. Get on the leaderboards at least. Hopefully higher up on the leaderboards than I was in 1.1.2, which you can look back at. Uh, I think it was in maybe one of the thousands places on OV, uh, on Record Memorial. I think it was in 400 something, and then the other one I was in like maybe 200 or in the hundreds, the first couple hundreds I think. But uh, hopefully I've improved a little bit. I've got to play a little bit more since that last time I checked. But uh, as long as I get my Mustang, that's what I've got the most experience with. It actually, when I first got the uh, 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 arena commander module um, I actually spent the first couple days just learning how to fly and it took <laughs> took me a while to understand how to fly with the G how the g-forces felt in different ships and the one I got the best was uh, the Mustang so I ended up buying one um, to be in preparation for the beginning of persistent universe and uh, if you haven't checked out the Abel Baker challenge do it look it up on the star citizen wiki Abel Baker challenge it's going to be fucking awesome. That's going to be my main influence for my organization as far as preparing for, you know, a uh, bi-yearly race. Uh, it's, it's twice a year, once every six months. And there's the ship that I need to select my gamma. Gamma, 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 gamma. So, we'll be going uh, 30 meters per second faster than the last ship, so hopefully uh, we can beat my time, what was it, 2.55 for lap was my best. So hopefully we'll be able to, be to beat that. Gonna beat it, gonna beat it, gonna beat it, oh yes we will, gonna beat it, gonna beat it. Should be pretty easy as long as I don't crash. And I noticed a couple of things that I did on the last laps with the uh, Gladius that uh, that I was uh, kind of missing and uh, hitting wrong, hitting incorrectly in order to get a better time. So I think I might be able to cut a couple seconds off of that uh, in additional to just the 30 extra extra speed I'll be going in the gamma here. So let's see this here. <laughs> Sorry, I get excited. <laughs> get excited and I can't control it. Go! 
lie. Go, pony. Pony. God. I'm compensating too much for those. Oh, I could have cut the shit out of that. I didn't hit it too badly, though. Oh yeah, this is way faster than the last ship. It's kind of throwing me off a little bit. But it's more maneuverable. <laughs> oh! Over here, over here. <laughs> that could have been bad. Mouse and keyboard is what I'm used to, so that's probably what I'm going to be using in addition to probably foot pedals. I think foot pedals in addition to the keyboard, mouse and keyboard, is going to be awesome. Especially so I have a little bit, you know, more of a threshold for throttle. You know, I can do, be finer tuned on my throttle and brake on the foot. Because uh, I think that might give me a little bit more, be a little bit better for me to understand and to, to, to do seamlessly. You know, it'll kind of make it a little bit more like a car with a mouse and keyboard. Now. Steering a car, the mouse and keyboard, I could do pretty damn good. I'd have to admit, if, you know, just given the <laughs> given given the enough time to calibrate, of course, there was a way to checkpoint, checkpoint, checkpoint. Oh yeah, well, watch out for that thing there. I went into that shit, kind of hit that turn, coming wide on that turn there, and then that fucking antenna there on the left. <laughs> that fucking thing. Fucking hit that before. Oh! This is like a spiral. Oh, I hit that little tiny antenna that I flew over there too. I'm trying to cut through that. And don't block out. I've definitely hit those signs many times. Many times! Oh, don't hit those red things. The things with the red lights on them, those will hurt you, but the blue stuff is just a hologram. Now I gotta go under this bridge. Ah! <laughs> oh, shit! No! Keep it together, murder! No! God damn it! What the fuck is it? All right, I got some damage going on here, so we'll see what happens here. Well, I got pretty much the same, even crashing. Damn it! Damn it! I don't know, I get really competitive with myself when I'm racing. With other people I'm a good sport, but with myself I fucking cuss the shit out of myself when I do something wrong racing. Come on! Losing against myself is a whole different aspect than losing against somebody else. <laughs> In my opinion. Oh, scratch the nose. Don't you love it? I have a friend who has epilepsy. And, <laughs> God, racing games must be hell for him, man. The amount of times I have my face gets itchy while I'm fucking. Oh man, epilepsy meds, a medication makes you makes you itch a little more than usual. As far as I'm told, anyways, I don't have epilepsy, so I've never taken any. Of course, <laughs> that'll just be silly. Yeah, if you guys get a chance and haven't already, check out Trip Rodriguez and Citizen Dare on... They do a lot of, They do mainly just Star Citizen. Uh, a good friend of mine, Mr. Scott Bull, who has been a mentor to me on Twitch for, for about a month and a half now, actually. So thank you, Mr. Scott Bull. Search for him on Twitch. He's got a really... He doesn't have a regular uh, scheduled time that he streams, but when he does, he has giveaways. He does this thing with Scott Coins. And he's a really entertaining guy, guy to watch play. He's got a really great sense of humor. But yeah, Mr. Scott Bull, give him a check. Give him a check if you haven't already. Give him a follow. He's a great guy. 
We're trying to get him. We're trying to get him. Uh, uh, partnered on Twitch, actually. And uh, he's actually been gracious enough to donate a VoIP server that I would like to use here in the future when I have people to interview, as well as to hang out with in game once we have, you know, more time to actually do longer shows in the future. And helping me get to that point is definitely getting people to hit that follow button, man. It's all I need. Follows and views to get to those points where we can actually start doing more scientific material. Oh, that was that was better. That was way better. I've actually got some fucking missing missing wing going on here too. Oh mama. No <laughs> oh, no don't run into the trailer park, boy! Don't run into the trailer park! Yeah, fucking <laughs> trailer park boys sitting out there. I gotta get my life together and start growing weed. Ha <laughs> ah, ha! Ah, yeah, shut up, Ricky. <laughs> Love trailer park boys. God damn, I get pumped playing this fucking racing game. I'm gonna be so stoked when this is race in the Persistent Universe. You know, set up like our own waypoints inside of the Persistent Universe. Whether they're just they're just holographic and have host our own races and shit. Oh, it's gonna be so awesome. Wait till you see the GTB Express Enduro race, man. It's gonna happen. It's gonna be a cargo endurance race. Cargo ships only. Fully loaded cargo, get it to the other side of the galaxy first, you win. I have different clashes. Oh god, blacking out! No! 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 I was doing so good! Damn it! I'm so far away! Just decided to take a nap with my eyes open. Fucking A, man. Fucking A. No! Pisses me off. <laughs> Blacking out, man. It's a really great aspect of this game. It makes it really interesting. But when you're racing and you black out, it's just like, no! Come on, man. I was trying so darn hard and then I got blacked out. I really wasn't paying attention to my fucking shit. Damn it. We'll get this fucking next lap. We'll get this fucker. We'll get this fucker! I'm gonna give it some murder thoughts. Get some ass blood in there, right, ass blood? <laughs> ah, 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 ah. ah! I looked at chat. I looked at chat! <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> Alright, so maybe we'll do another two laps. <sighs> now I'm now I'm fucking pissed. <laughs> I'm all cutting corners a little too close. I'm just like, I'm cut the fuck. Fuck it's still my guy. Huh, get those fucking seconds cut off of there, goddammit. Smooth murder. Smooth. Smooth makes faster, not pissed. Well, maybe. Your anger is a gift. Your anger is a gift. Adrenaline, man. Adrenaline make you set. Adrenaline. Alright. 
cut this son of a bitch in half. We got all our wings now too, so it's a little easier for me to maneuver, which is good. As long as I don't crash anymore. Ugh, a little too much on that turn. Oh, I gotta go underneath that. Yes, okay. I think I can cut this one. Oh, not this one. I think the next one is the one I want to cut. Yes, this one. And this one. Take this wide, though, because I don't want to black out on this anymore. Okay, take that a little wide. All right, didn't black out. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Now this, go under the bridge, <clears throat> without crashing and dying, or bouncing off of things. Let's see if we can make a good time here, even with the crash. I think it was a quick one, it was just really fast. No, I still haven't beat that yet. Alright, we can do this. I can do this. With your support, we can do this. Get somebody to click that follow, please. We need to reach our goal. So I can scare the shit out of myself playing a video game for science. Alright. Making it. Making it. Oh god! These fucking antennas. They scare the shit out of me sometimes. Oh. Come on, murder. You can do this. Sign. Okay, that wasn't hard. That wasn't hard. Right. Okay, let's start doing this here. Cut this deeply. Deep. Cut it deep. The next turn. Yeah, a lot of this is just being prepared for the turn and knowing the course. The better you know the course, the better you can fly the course. That's the way, that's the always way it's been. Cars drive any racing game I've ever played. The better you know the course, the better you can fly it. And I think I actually just cut some time off of that one there. And actually set myself up really well to go underneath this here without crashing. Nice, okay, yes, I think I found a better method for that, that there. This one, I don't know if cutting this one is so much of a good idea. It's a kind of puts a lot of G's on you when you hit those turns like that. And this is the one that I really want to be able to cut and have enough G's to hit that fucking sharp ass turn. You know, half enough for this one. Because this one's a fucking bizatch. Oh shit, that was close. <laughs> that was fucking close. Maneuvering thrusters. For the win! Alright, here we go. This is gonna be the best one yet, I know it. I got a feeling as long as I don't fucking hit anything. I can do this! Oh. <laughs> yes! Alright! Yes! I'm okay with that. 234, 74. Damn! Damn, that's better than I thought I was gonna do. Alright, so we're gonna go check out the leaderboards and see if they're updated. In the meantime, enjoy the music while I go and look at those and get that ready. Enjoy the music, and I'm going to plug my little uh, screen here in the meantime. But uh, some music that I created. You're welcome to download and share. Where is it?
All right, guys. Well, uh, as I looked, the uh, litter boards haven't uh, don't update uh, immediately. Uh, I didn't realize that. Uh, but uh, once they do, uh, we'll actually be able to um, go and check those out, and hopefully. Um, and they might even do it today, who knows. But later on we'll try to get some more times, get some better times. But uh, yeah, for now, uh, signing off. Thank you guys for stopping by. Give it a follow if you have. Uh, welcome the new guys, Joker813 and Assblood. Thanks for your support and your follows. Um, we'll be back later for the evening show. And that will be actually the late, late, early, more, early, early morning or late, late night show for anybody in the Eastern Hemisphere, of course. But uh, for now... Guys, definitely thanks for stopping by. We had a good show today. Uh, we're going to have another one today here soon. Until then.